getting a peek into the paranormal. There's a group here locally that works to prove or dispel the existence of the supernatural at rumored haunts, and we were able to tag along. Take a look at our spooky adventure with the Bump in the Night Society. We are here at the Andrew Carnegie Free Library and Music Hall in Carnegie, and what better way to celebrate Halloween than heading inside this building, rumored to be haunted, with the Bump in the Night Society. Come on. We've moved inside. I can't say that I'm feeling anything creepy, but we have a group of creepy friends here. They're from the Bump in the Night Society. We have Jennifer and Sean Bowman and Mike Bowser here. And are we already hearing something? Something's going off. We. I think it's this. Am I too close to it? The millimeter, no. We no. are investigating to see <laughs> what might be going on here, because there are stories. The stories have lasted through the generations about this place being haunted. I love just old historic buildings. Like even when I'm on uh, Facebook or whatever, I'm always looking at old buildings. I'm always, you know, I just love the look. And to find out it's haunted is just an added bonus. We have a story of a man in a in a top hat that sits up there and then potentially someone that that may have uh, been thrown off the balcony over there so hopefully we get some interaction the group always brings equipment and devices that help to pick up on potential energy well, that's a millimeter right there in the middle uh millimeter picks up emf which is electric ma magnetic fields um also could pick up temperature these are yes and no boxes on the end um ask the spirit a question Green for yes, red for no. Uh, how do we, how do you get started? How do you, I don't want to say provoke, but how do you determine if this truly is haunted in here? Usually we start with introductions. Um, so I'd be like, hey guys, it's Jen. I'm here to investigate. Uh, if anybody would like to talk to us, we'd really love it. My name's Sean, just here to communicate with anything that's in the building with us. My name is Mike, just here to learn about the history. Uh, I like to set boundaries. So you are allowed to do whatever you want to me while we are here. You're just not allowed to follow me home. I like that part. Please don't follow us home. So do you communicate, do you ask a question? Yeah, of course. So what would you say? Well, if there's anything here that would like to interact with us, we have devices set up here. We have a device up there. Uh, you can also, well, thank you. Can you please step away from the device? So what does that mean? So that's probably picking up uh, an EMF. And it could be, like, it, the, the hard thing with the equipment is everything has flaws. Right. So that could be actual uh, an entity that is interacting with us. It could be just picking up maybe our cell phones or if there's a walkie-talkie. We do like to try to debunk ourselves because we don't want to put out, you know, stuff that isn't, you know, correct. Yeah. We want to we wanna actually prove there's ghosts. With introductions behind us, Mike wanted to try something else. This is a device. It's a S-Box from Ghost Stop. They're uh, our good friends. Uh, what it does is it goes through radio frequencies at a rate of one to three uh, uh, frequencies per second. You do get some radio bleed. Uh, we have a documentary coming out and I use it and at one point you can kind of hear the uh, the penguins game. So I always mark that. <laughs> oh. There's now. So this would not set that off. So that's something setting that off. Was there a woman that was pushed off the balcony up there? Is that true? <laughs> yes, yeah. right there, yes. I was uh, at a cemetery in the Smoky Mountains and I asked if it wanted to communicate. I have it on video and um, it clearly said leave. It was just like leave. Leave. The group shares their haunts on social media with a growing following. Can you tell us who you are? Here for evil. You're here for evil. Oh, Yo, wait. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? What happened? Grab me from behind. Let's see what this basement has in store for us. Next, we headed downstairs where the vibe was heavy and filled with history. Try to see if something that will manifest in one yeah, of the mirrors. Yeah. No, but, but do we really have to do that? I don't know that we really have to. In the dressing room, Bump in the Night tried to lure something out. If there's anything in the room with us, can you show yourself in one of the mirrors? We'd really like to know if we're actually interacting with something or if it's just the building creaking. Are you able to knock something over and really show yourself? Is there anyone in this room with us right now? Terry, it's happening. I heard it twice, too. Yeah, it was twice, yeah. Sometimes the silence, I think, is yeah. scarier than yeah. anything. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, you should, you should be here when it's pitch black, though. Yeah, no, no. I think I'm ready to go back up in the daylight. Deeper in the basement, the group used an app that skeptics may not believe, but came through with some pretty cryptic messages. 
We're just here for a little bit. We've Uncle. got some friends. Uncle. Harry. Harry. Like Harry and Nate? Yeah, Harry the name Harry. Harry. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Hmm. I think I'm sufficiently freaked out. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> It's one of those weird things like you can feel it, but you can't see it. You don't know what's going to happen next. It was a really wild experience. Well, today's a pretty busy day, as you can imagine, for Bump in the Night, but they have a big event that you can get in on soon. They're holding a public investigation at the Ross House in Ohio in January. Tickets are on sale now. We're going to have a link with more information on our website. Coming up next on Talk Pittsburgh, we're mixing up a special potion that will bring abundance and false sense to your home with a local witch shop specializing in the magical arts.